Hi everyone, today I want to talk about an important concept. Sometimes it's very important to reread a book. Some people think that once you read a book once from beginning to end or you skim a book through once, you don't ever have to come back to it in your lifetime. And I think that's only true if you are blessed to have some level of perfect, flawless photographic memory. Now, 99.99999% of us do not have this, so it's very important to go back to a book or take notes because oftentimes there's plenty of stuff that you will forget. One book that I oftentimes will try and come back to is this one called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I put more emphasis on this book because rather than other books written by like a millionaire who's made his wealth in one specific way once and is revealing his secrets, this book is by a man who spent over 20 years detailing and analyzing and finding the common trends of 500 of the wealthiest people in the entire earth for 20 years before writing this thing. And therefore, I put a lot more weight into what he says. And he definitely went very extensive into all the things that he found. And one thing I realized, and it's very true for a lot of people, is that you forget things. You read the whole thing and then you can't keep track of all the points he's made because there's just too many. So you forget half of them and you're not really implementing them or executing them right. So that's why it's important to, uh, you know, find your own way of keeping all the points that are necessary intact and, uh, you know, in your memory and actually use them. So for you, that might mean writing down notes to the book while you're reading them and referencing the books and referencing the notes from time to time. Others, it may mean just buying a actual copy of this book rather than going to the library so that you can keep this with you and reference it numerous times. And I think it's a huge fallacy, but a lot of people have it. They think that, oh, I've got the gist or I've got the meat of the book. And in reality, what they've done is they've skimmed the book They've read maybe five or ten pages and they think from those five or ten pages they've got all the juice of the book and all the meat of the book. And I have to say for sure that this is one of those books you cannot do that for. Maybe for some, you know, filler type books that are heavily marketed and are very mainstream or the fad of the decade or fad of the year type books with a lot of fluff in it. But I really don't think that this is a book that has a lot of fluff and it's kind of written like how Mozart writes music. It's not a word, not a word extra and not a word less than necessary. And arguably, I guess you could say maybe it's, and arguably, maybe you could say there's a few extra words that are unnecessary, but not by much. So that's all I gotta say. As always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.